Hello everybody and welcome to today's PB webinar. My name is Amanda Pauly and I am Deputy Editor at Professional Beauty and today we've got a webinar all about how therapists can help their clients get their skin confidence back post lockdown. With life getting back to normal post lockdown, many of you will have clients coming through your door who you haven't seen in months and whose skin health is in a different place to what it was before. So in this webinar, which is sponsored by skincare brand Dermalogica, the brand's training executive, Janine DeCosta, will explain how you can help clients feel skin confident again, covering the importance of getting them back in the hands of a professional and which treatments will deliver the results they want. Um, just before Janine gets started, I just want to let you know that this webinar is pre-recorded. So if you do have any questions along the way, do post them in the comment box and we will get Janine to come back and give you answers to anything. Um, but hi Janine, how are you doing today? Hi. I'm good, thanks. How are you, Amanda? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. So I'm going to let you do your thing, get your presentation up, and I'll come back at the end and ask you a few questions, if that sounds good. Of course. Fantastic. Let me go ahead um, and share this. And if you could just give me the heads up that you can see it, that would be amazing. Yes, so I can see everything. That looks very good to me. So yeah, take your time, Janine, and I'll see you at the end. Brilliant. Thank you so Thank much, you. Amanda. So as Amanda mentioned, my name is Janine and I am joining you um, for this webinar on boosting client skin confidence. And as Amanda mentioned, I think, you know, we're now starting to get some sort of familiar pattern back into our lives post coronavirus lockdown. And, you know, many of you are probably currently working uh, extended hours, extended days to get all of those clients back into your business. So you probably haven't seen them, as we mentioned, in months, maybe even a year since you've seen those clients. And their skin health is probably in a very different place to what it's ever been before. Um, and maybe it's you know skin conditions they've never experienced as individuals. Many clients we know have reported experiencing a variety of skin conditions at the moment. You know, everything from maskne to increased sensitivity on their skin. And what's interesting is although many people have experienced a variety of skin conditions, quite a few people have actually reported feeling more confident in their own skin because they've had the ability to refocus their skincare routines over the lockdown period. Now, that's quite an interesting thought because it's unex an unexpected benefit of actually being in lockdown. But how do we achieve skin confidence for everybody? Those clients who maybe are still experiencing this variety of fluctuations in their skin. Because I'm sure you'd agree that not only we as individuals, but our skin too has been through a complete roller coaster ride over the last 15 months, if not longer. So, in this webinar, we're going to explore how you can support your clients in achieving that skin confidence, but also understanding where we can actually strengthen our representation of all skins and elevating the partnership that we have as professionals have with clients as they move through their skin positivity journey. At Dermalogica, we believe, let me just flick forward. At Dermalogica, we believe that achieving skin confidence is really about having healthy skin that elevates that confidence. And when you think about this, you know, um, achieving that confidence is all about letting go of skin shame and actually being unapologetic about having any skin problems. We want to encourage people to rethink how they view their skin. I'm sure each of you would agree that we've all been in a similar position to to them where you've struggled with a skin condition, maybe multiple skin conditions. So you understand clients' frustration with their skin. So skin confidence is about letting people know that it's okay to have those skin conditions. And of course, we can look at how we can improve that through various aspects, which, which we'll look at during the webinar. So in terms of understanding skin, you are experts in skincare. And how you overcome skin conditions is really about understanding an individual's skin needs and understanding how it changes on a day-to-day -day basis. So we want to ensure that when we're talking to clients, we're helping them to understand those aspects and helping them to make better choices. 
So in terms of achieving skin confidence, this actually starts by changing the perceptions or banishing unrealistic ideals. So we often see images in social or in media in general of perfect skin. So I'd like you to visualize this as I'm describing it. Perfect skin is something that is flawless. It's all, all over even tone. It's one texture. It's completely smooth. Um, it is completely pore free um, at the surface essentially looking perfect. So this is often how skin can be portrayed in the media. While this sets up a very strong visual expectation, think about the words that might be used to describe that type of skin that you're visualizing. So it might be um, words like flawless or perfect or possibly even the word normal. And when you couple this visual together with this, this wording, it's really easy to see how unrealistic skin ideals can be formed. Now, when we're talking about banishing unrealistic ideas, ideals, excuse me, we're focusing on the word normal and really exploring how we can be more inclusive to support skin confidence. The expectation of normal has actually become quite an uncomfortable place because is it the inference that if my skin doesn't look or feel or behave a certain way that I'm not actually normal. This actually, when you think about it, makes it really difficult for clients to feel that they are included. They can actually feel quite excluded and that skin goals can be unattainable for them as an individual. The word normal is such a loaded term because it indicates that there's actually an abnormal on the other side of the spectrum. And it doesn't really describe anything. So it's about time that we consider how we communicate to clients and how we use um, terminology in helping people to build their own skin confidence. Interestingly, Generation Z has actually shifting or shifted this conversation. The traditional notions of beauty no longer hold up for them. This generation is all about seeing skin confidence as accepting and owning your imperfections. So the reality is that everybody's ideal skin is different. Just like your fingerprint, your personality and your lifestyle are unique to you, so are your ideal skin um, goals. So at Domologica, since inception, we've been on a mission to really dispel the notion of perfect skin and focus instead on helping clients to achieve their healthiest skin. Not my healthiest skin, not your healthiest skin, but their healthy skin for them as an individual. Your, when you think about it, your skin is one of the first things that other people notice about you. It's probably the first thing you notice about yourself when you stand up in the morning and look into the mirror every single day. And when you think about your health of your skin, when your skin feels healthy, it has quite a powerful impact on both your emotional and your mental well-being. When you have that healthy skin, you actually are able to face daily tasks or challenges with confidence. And we know that when you are able to use um, great skincare product at home, Clients actually find that their overall confidence is boosted, resulting in that renewed positive outlook. So we are built on the belief that skin health is more important than beauty, which is why we stand by skin positivity and acceptance. Think about your skin. Your skin is incredible. And actually real skin is, is really beautiful with its um, perceived imperfections or various skin conditions. So when it comes to skin confidence, it's really about teaching clients how their skin looks and feels because it reflects who they are. So it's about helping them to change the way that they currently view their skin. Now, um, for us as professional skin therapists, we can shift that viewpoint from beauty to healthy skin by adapting the language that we use. So Domologica, along with why a wider number of brands, has now removed the term or word normal from our messaging. 
And this is really to boost that skin confidence like we spoke about, because we mentioned that when you think about how skin can be portrayed or how it's described, it's described as that normal. But we know that actually that's not inclusive of everybody. So rather try and challenge yourself to focus on using words that are more inclusive, like a balanced skin or potentially pull out benefit led words that are more reflective of what's happening on the skin. So if the skin is dehydrated, actually looking at how we can hydrate the skin. So flipping those um, conditions to more of a positive um, terminology. And it's going to take some time because when you think about um, you know, our, our, our industry and how we, um, how we learned about skin, the word normal, normal to oily or normal to dry has been ingrained in us. So really it's about challenging our thought process to be more positive and inclusive of every client and every skin that we come across. Now, over the last year, I'm sure you would agree that you've probably been accessing social media um, probably more than uh, a, a traditional day. Um, and it might have been your sanctuary over the last 15 months as you watch, you know, funny reels or entertaining reels. But there's also been lots of reels about skincare. Now, in terms of social media, social media has really become a virtual storefront for so many businesses. Think about your own business at the moment. How do you um, market your business through social media? It is that window into your business when people couldn't get to your physical store. So what I'd like you to think about is how, you, how is healthy skin portrayed in your social um, or virtual business? As professional skin therapists, you know, are you showing images of real skins that are representative of a variety of clients that you've actually come across? Are your clients able to see skins that have got breakouts, uneven skin texture, redness, hyperpigmentation, or that sort of mottling on the skin? Because what it allows is those clients to relate to a skin. They can look at those images and think, my skin looks really similar to that, or, oh, I'm not the only one that has those um, brown spots on my skin. Now, in terms of showing these various skin conditions, it's not just about showing the extremes, but everything in between, because we know that skin conditions are so varied and the degree of them can be varied as well. So it's about highlighting to clients that these are all various skin conditions that can be experienced by pretty much everybody in varying degrees. And we're here to support you in achieving your healthier skin, regardless of where you see yourself um, on your skincare journey. Helping clients to understand as well that there's nothing embarrassing about um, their skin problem. You know, all too often as professional skin therapists, we, we hear people saying that they might not go out without any makeup because they're embarrassed about the marks that are left behind post breakouts. Or potentially people saying, you know, I, I never go makeup free because my skin is so red. Um, you know, I have really bad rosacea. Or I always wear long sleeves because my psoriasis is, is so severe and I'm really embarrassed. And that has actually come over time where, um, you know, the way we perceive people or the perception um, and words used to actually highlight those skin problems, people then feel like they're embarrassing. But there's nothing embarrassing about it. It's about helping those individuals understand that we can help them to achieve their healthy skin through coaching um, and actually supporting their skin. And actually that, you know, that is who you are as an individual and accepting that. So as I mentioned, that skin confidence is really about being unapologetic about the skin challenges that you might have and helping somebody to view their skin in a different way. But it's also celebrating what is fantastic about their skin. Yes, you may have excess redness because your skin has rosacea, but your texture feels fantastic or it looks incredible. So it's actually finding the other aspects of, the, of their skin that are really positive to help support them in that perception of their skin. Because if we don't help clients through this process, they can feel that they don't fit into um, public perception or they don't relate to a specific skin, and then they don't feel included. 
So what can we do as professional skin therapists? Well, really, we want to champion the examples of skin positivity, embrace those clients and help them on their skin um, skincare journey. We can help clients understand how and why their skin behaves a certain way. And by sharing this knowledge with them, we actually give them confidence to make better and informed choices about their skincare, their lifestyle, and even their general health. The result, of course, is that that individual or that client has that sense of empowerment on their skin positivity journey. I'm sure we can all relate to where we've had professional advice given to us either for our skin or our general health. And when you've taken that on, it has really helped you to improve your general health or improve your skin condition and has generally made you feel more confident. It also instills trust in that expert that you've been dealing with. So knowing you're going to be, um, be able to enjoy your best skin will help, of course, to build your skin confidence. It will help to create and own your own glow. And the skincare industry is truly amazing. You know, we, we work with individuals on a day-to-day -day basis to really support them in multiple ways. So it's amazing that we can all be back in business um, at the moment. But we also need to ensure that while we're interacting with everybody, that each client um, and every client feels that they are seen, heard, valued, and included. So how we connect with them is really important in boosting that skin confidence. No matter where they are in their skincare journey, we want to ensure that they feel supported. We are truly leaning into a new era that's inclusive and unbiased when it comes to skincare. So how do we then move on to really elevating the achievement of skin confidence and skin health for our clients? Well, that is about establishing a solid partnership with you, the professional skin therapist. When we think about our relationship, it's really built as a complete package, professional treatments, an at-home regimen, and of course, expert advice to really solidify that partnership and of course, help our clients to achieve healthy skin. The other aspects are that you can be that listening ear when customers are ex expressing their anxieties, their frustrations, or even their concerns about their skin problems. We know that big life moments like a pandemic or working from home or suddenly having to homeschool your kids can really have a profound effect on an individual, but also on their skin and their confidence. So being in the hands of a professional that you trust and that can support you through your skin journey will really make a huge difference. And that's where you, the professional skin therapist, can really support clients in achieving that skin confidence. I'm sure, we, again, we can all relate to a client coming in to see you and they're at their lowest point with regards to their skin. They possibly feel like they just don't know where to start to improve their skin, whether that is to minimize excess redness or sensitivity, or actually just banish the breakouts that are happening on my skin that are really affecting my confidence. We've all probably experienced one or multiple of those skin conditions, but we can also feel helpless. So having somebody that you can partner with on your skincare journey really helps to boost that confidence, but ensure that you get the best possible results. So through a series of treatments, um, daily products that a customer or client can use at home, and together with that coaching, you can really transform how somebody is feeling about their skin, transform their confidence, and of course, their general outlook um, on life as well. So as professional skin therapists, you are working on many, many of the same faces, the clients that you're seeing on a regular basis. Um, and not only are you seeing how their life progresses, but actually how their skin progresses as well and how it fluctuates. These long-term relationships really help you to see that crucial importance of what you do in the treatment room and what they're able to do on a day-to-day -day basis at home. 
you only get to work on your clients every couple of weeks, maybe every four to six weeks. So having those home care products and helping them to make the choices of which products they use will help to achieve skin health, but of course, skin confidence as well. So what I want to emphasize here is that helping somebody to achieve skin confidence is also about clearly laying out the plans of what you're going to do together. This is not about being one-sided and only doing your treatment, but actually what they can do at home to support what you achieve in the treatment room. This will give you the ultimate partnership with the clients. As you move through this partnership with them, you'll really be establishing a meaningful relationship that's built on respect and trust and sets up that skincare journey. This together with your expertise in your professional treatments with uh, professional result-driven options, as well as the um, home care, will really help to elevate the expertise of you, the professional skin therapist. We, when you think about it, we really do make things personal. It starts with us as individuals connecting with our customers. So we want to ensure that, you know, we're providing our customers with expert education and we're fostering meaningful relationships between the professional skin therapist and the consumer to really help elevate that skin confidence. Great relationships are also built on trust and honesty. And when it comes to the relationship between the professional skin therapist and a client, we also need to manage client's skin expectations. Because although they're coming in, feeling frustrated about their skin, whether that be the mask knee that they're currently suffering from, or the fact that their nose is excessively dry and flaky from wearing a mask repeatedly, we need to manage the expectations of how quickly they can see results on their skin because we know that skin health is not achieved overnight. Of course, when you come in for a professional skin treatment and you have all of these professional targeted options, your skin will instantly look and feel different and you get that instant feel good factor. But we know that skin health, that journey to skin health can take a period of time. Think about the customers you've been dealing with recently that have had conditions like mask knee. It can take between four to six weeks to really start to see a change and that balance in the skin. So it's really about setting up those expectations for the customers and helping them to understand that there is no quick fix, but we're going to work together to get you those ultimate results on the skin. Skin confidence, um, as we've discussed already, is not just about um, you know, having a treatment, but it actually is um, a lot, runs a lot deeper and it is a bit deep, more deeper rooted. Um, skin confidence is also about having that balance of um, your expectations of your own skin and changing that view of your skin. The world has truly shifted at the moment and mental health has taken a more significant more significance than ever, as has the power of human touch. It's actually far more precious than it's ever been. And I'm sure you can relate to this being back in business and connecting with your clients. We're in such um, a privileged position in our industry to be able to touch somebody's skin. Um, Amanda and I were just talking about even going for a massage, how profound that will be at this point in time. So we know that skin treatment, massage, um, you know, all hands-on services really provide broader benefits to overall well-being. That simple human touch is proven to go beyond social bonding and actually helps to impact physical, mental, and emotional health as well. So really, when, you're, when we're talking about, um, you know, working together with clients to boost their skin confidence, it's about nurturing both the physical and emotional aspects um, in a relationship to ultimately get that skin confidence and that skin health. So to ensure that you're equipped to support clients through their skin positivity journey or their skincare journey, Domologica has developed a self-led course on meaningful connections. So this is open to anybody in the industry and will help you to boost your own emotional intelligence 
and empathy to understand clients, especially, um, you know, considering the last 15 months, how things have shifted and changed and how people feel entering into a, a more of a familiar pattern in their day-to-day -day life, they might need additional support. We will also share with you um, strategies to help boost self-esteem and confidence that can also be shared to your customers, but you can use yourself personally and actually learn how we can then signpost if we, um, you know, if, we're ex if a customer is experiencing elements that need a little bit more um, attention, we can certainly look at signposting all of those individuals. So when it comes to boosting client skin confidence, um, I really hope that this has shared some insight into how we can tackle this as professional skin therapists. Of course, it's about helping um, everybody to understand their healthy skin and helping them to achieve their healthiest skin. But it's also about considering what we, what we um, deem as um, you know, skin ideals, looking at really banishing all of those words like normal and perfect and flawless because we all have our own um, sort of perceived imperfections that make us unique. And what we want to do is celebrate those individualities between each and every one of our customers. So thinking about how we portray um, images you know, to our clients, is there real skin that I can relate to? The language I use as a professional skin therapist, how do I adapt that language so that my client feels included um, and actually is can relate to that type of skin condition and then finally in order to boost that skin confidence it really is about creating that solid meaningful relationship with the professional skin therapist you and this is about combining both your um, hands-on professional treatments together with day-to-day -day products that a client can use at home in their regimen and of course, your coaching and your advice to help them achieve their healthiest possible skin. That is the ultimate relationship. And it is definitely a partnership on this road to skin, skin health. As we mentioned, it's not something that happens overnight, but actually takes time. And, you know, I think one of the, the biggest things when you're working with somebody that has a frustrating skin condition is for them to document how their skin has changed all too often your skin improves, but you might not notice it as much. So if you document how your skin, you know, where you started and how it's improved incrementally and you look back on it, that is quite rewarding to see as an individual, as a client to go, oh, wow, that's improved and that's improved. I can see those changes. So even encouraging our clients to take before and after pictures, but then if possible to share those pictures again, so people can relate to what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And then for you as a professional skin therapist, really connecting with that um, you know, emotional aspect of our um, jobs essentially, and looking at how you can create those meaningful connections and support your own growth, but also that of your clients as well. So really that is um, everything from me and how you can boost your client's confidence um, and skin health by um, exploring those various avenues. And of course, we know that you can live your best life in your healthiest skin. And that for us is our biggest focus. And we wish you all a successful journey on your skin positivity journey. So thank you, Amanda. I'm gonna come back to you. Thank you so much, Janine. That was really great. There was a lot to um, unpack there. And I think there was some really good bigger issues that I think the industry are just thinking about at the moment that were brought up. Um, just before I sort of ask you a few questions, I just want yes. to remind people that, yeah, that meaningful connections course that Dermalogica is doing sounds really, really great. And I think it'd be really beneficial for people. Um, I'll put a link in the comment box for that as well as a general link to the Dermalogica website so anybody who's watching can go and have a look and get signed up because I do think it's very timely um, and something that will be of benefit to salon owners and their teams so yes absolutely I, th I think in, in terms of that as well Amanda you know we've um, we were just talking earlier about being able to you know connect with family and friends and go for dinner and you tend to connect with people and suddenly 
they sort of share everything that's happened to them in the last 15 months. So the Meaningful Connections um, self-led learning really helps you to understand how you can almost shield yourself but still be empathetic and support clients through their emotional journey as well. So I think it, it is definitely timely. Yeah, because the client therapist relationship is like no other. And I think um, clients do unload a lot on therapists. And actually, if you're having that many times during the day, um, that can actually be a lot to deal with, can't it? So, um, yes. And I think especially at the moment, given the state of things and what's going on. So definitely, definitely very timely. Um, but yeah, I thought everything that you said about skin shame and just being more inclusive in the industry is really interesting. Um, do you have any advice for salons on how they can make their marketing and their messaging and their imagery more inclusive on social media, in emails, and also actually in their bricks and mortar site? Yeah, I think this is a really good point because you know, um, th there is a big movement. Um, you know, I think even just on social media, you see a lot of um, people sharing their real skin images, which is amazing. Um, so for a, a business, a professional skin therapist, um, you can potentially ask clients if you can use their images, um, you know, to first of all, of course, promote that skin positivity, but also explore what you've done to achieve that healthy skin for them. So definitely looking at those aspects. But um, the brands that you partner with, you know, many of them are, are exploring how to bring that skin positivity in, in imagery as well. They can then be used via social media or in your bricks and mortar business. Um, you know, just for example, one of the images that I had on the slide was from our clear start line. And um, you know we we were using uh, those those sort of real skin images because we know that our Generation Z and our young adults can relate to that because to them it's about accepting those skin challenges. So it can be using your own marketing materials, but also the brands that you partner with are making those shifts and changes to showcase real skin um, that is more relatable to uh, every client. Yeah, and I thought it's interesting as well um, when you were saying about the word normal and kind of the shift that's been. I mean, is there any other kind of terms in the industry that you think are maybe slightly problematic or could do with updating, given how far the industry's come? Yeah, um, I think this is probably a constant evolution of um, you know terminology. But yes, normal, flawless. Um, I want, again, I know probably, we've, you know, we've, a lot of people feel this way, but the word perfect, because, you know, we always say nothing's perfect, um, you know, in life in general. So those would probably be the terms that we need to be far more conscious of. Um, and then I think even just that sort of uh, the terminology associated with skin conditions like breakouts or acne, that, you know, there's, there's that uh, perception that that is quite a negative word, but actually, that is the condition that it is or the disorder, you know, it, it is acne, but um, being quite positive about that. So I think it's also about putting more positivity on specific words rather than putting them in a negative light. But yes, those types of words, flawless, perfect, um, they probably need to be, uh, you know, revisited. And it's easy to uh, say them so it takes time you know for us to change our words even the word normal you know balanced is far more reflective of what you're trying to achieve you know if you've got an oilier skin what we're trying to do is balance it out so that you have less of that oil production so it's just thinking um on your feet essentially to adjust your terminology yeah definitely because yeah I think you're right like it's been so ingrained for a long time hasn't it so it's just been a little bit more conscious when you're talking to the client um to make sure that you're not using those words that can be perceived in a certain way Absolutely. um you also spoke as well about managing client expectations and I think this is always a challenge for therapists you know whenever but even now like you say you know people are dealing with different issues on their skin caused by the pandemic um I mean do you think that Obviously, like you said earlier, we've all been on social media a lot more during this time. Do you think that has also had an impact on people in terms of what they expect from their skincare? Because definitely I think with TikTok and things like that, everything is very fast. And um, I wonder if that plays a part in definitely the younger generation thinking necessarily that they're going to get instant results after one treatment. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. It's everything's high paced. You know, you've only got 30 seconds or less to create that impact. So it is definitely about managing those expectations. And I think probably comes back to the messaging that's portrayed, you know, whether you're you whether you're using social media for your business um, or your 
uh, putting up content in your bricks and mortar business is thinking about, you know, sort of titling aspects, you know, this is after four weeks or after six weeks so that people can see that that's the realistic expectation. Of course, there are some products that can give you an instant change, you know, and, and certain products that are clinically proven to change your skin within seven days. But it really is about managing that expectation because that helps you to foster that relationship. But also it um, helps to shift people's perceptions that this is going to take time. Um, you know, and everybody is different. We know that so many factors affect our skin as well. You know, our general lifestyle, our, our health, the commuting that we're now starting to do, working from home, being in an, um, I want to say air conditioned, we're not quite at that point in time with weather, but being in a, a micro environment where the, it's constantly changing, all of that affects your skin. So you might be seeing progress, but then something else might change, which then amplifies it. So it really is about helping people to understand that, you know, this is what we're aiming for. We're going to, you know, reassess your skin in four weeks time. We should see this change, but if we don't, then we're going to readjust it. But I think um, even probably if you are on social media, read the, the content that's underneath the post, if you're looking at skin, to, to really get a feel of how long it's taken somebody, because that's, that's the true reflection. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, if it did, uh, we would all be in a very different position, um, you know, with regards to our industry, but it, it does take time. But the results, the the time you um, invest is definitely worth the result at the end of it. Yeah. And obviously on the flip side, which you mentioned at the start of your webinar, is that lots of people are also reporting feeling a lot more skin confident because they've had more time during lockdown to focus on their regime and their skin health. And obviously some of those clients might be nervous about as they sort of get back out into the world again. And like you say, work and commute and wear masks again about maintaining that level of skin health and skin confidence I mean how should therapists approach that because I guess if that client has really great skin they come in they have a treatment and then they've sort of gone back semi-normal life then they come in and they've had an issue arise they might think necessarily that it's something to do with the treatment they had rather than necessarily about lifestyle factors so how can you kind of communicate that I think I think that's such a valid point because when your skin is in a good place um, you know and you're living your healthier skin as soon as there's a change you're like oh what is it that caused that? And, and it, it is easy if you've gone for a treatment, sort of, you know, say it was the treatment. But I think this comes down to a really good consultation with that client, um, you know, and spending time understanding what they've been doing to their skin. Have, has anything changed? But also to talk a little bit about the fact that when you're doing a professional service, you are using professional grade ingredients, high intensity, um, you know, formulations, maybe even electrical modalities. Mm -hmm. So your skin will shift slightly. And we know that when you're treating the skin to that level, you may experience the odd breakout afterwards. Um, and that's the way of the, the skin adjusting to it. So I think managing that expectation in consultation, but also talking to the clients because I, just as you said, I don't think people always realize that small micro changes can you know, result in what we see on the surface of the skin, but we don't really understand that at the time. We think that it's the, the last thing that I was in, interacting with, like a skin treatment that's brought it out. But it could have been, you know, brewing underneath essentially, or it's because I have been commuting day to day to work, or I've been touching my face a lot more because I put makeup on. So it's it's about a professional really helping to highlight a lot of those um, varying factors during a consultation, but then also after a treatment, managing those expectations as well. Yeah. No, that was brilliant. Thank you, Janine. And thank you for such an informative webinar. I think it's been really great and you've really touched on some really important issues. Um, and yeah, I just want to thank Dermalogica as well for sponsoring this webinar. Um, it's been really great. But yeah, anybody who is watching, if you do have any questions for Janine based on anything that we've been talking about, do just put it in the comment box and I will go back to her and get some answers for you and come back. But apart from that, I hope everyone has a great week and that business remains strong. And Janine, I'm sure I'll see you at some point in in the future as well which will be lovely absolutely but yeah thank you so much for your time and thank you everyone yeah. and we'll have another webinar next week for you all thank you amanda thank you. see you later bye